Ghost Report from Valerie on August 15, 2017. I first noticed strange things in my house when I moved in 17 years ago. It's just a small, older bungalow not far from the harbor. It all started with footsteps in our unfinished attic. Not long after, I would notice the light on the clock radio in my kitchen would turn on by itself. I'd switched it off using the manual switch that you had to click upwards twice before it turned on, and down twice before it could turn off, only to find it back on shortly thereafter, and I was home alone. Many times I would stand at my kitchen sink, and while I was doing dishes, I could hear someone call my name loudly. I would run to the next room to see who it was, yet my spouse would be sleeping or I would be home alone. Once I saw the reflection of a man in what appeared to be a farmer's hat behind me through the reflection in the window above the sink. Less than a year after I moved in, I witnessed one of the scariest things. The bottom drawer of our dresser came flying out across the room with such force that it broke in four pieces without explanation. To this day, I still get chills thinking about it. Our German Shepherd would fiercely and endlessly bark at one corner of our living room at something only he could see. Items often go missing for days or weeks on end. Sometimes I yell at the unseen being to bring it back and usually it reappears somewhere. We've searched many times over before. Other times, items have seemed to have been thrown across the room by nothing. Once my mother was visiting and she walked into the bathroom, the medicine cabinet opened and a glass bottle flew and narrowly missed her. Another time my brother was over and he and I were speaking in the kitchen and a large old tin can that I kept on the refrigerator that was filled with change and batteries and whatnot flew at his head. It barely jumped out of the way before it could strike him. Our cupboard doors have slammed open and shut on their own and even scared my brute of a husband. My mother and brother, who'd been sleeping at the opposite end of the house, once rushed to my room because they both claimed they heard me screaming for help in the middle of the night, when in fact, everyone in our room, myself included, were all sound asleep. My brother, his girlfriend, and myself have all seen the apparition of a young boy in my house which we later discovered we would all describe the same way. These are only a few of the tales I could tell. We've burned sage and said a prayer over the home, but haven't had the need to have it blessed. For the most part, it is harmless, just unnerving. Ghost Report from Holly on May 1st, 2017. I was never a big believer of ghosts. I always looked for a logical explanation as to what have caused these strange things to happen. But at the end of it all, there is some things I just can't explain. I moved into this duplex in year 2000. It was me, my common-law husband, and his nephew. I was at the time pregnant with my first child. I moved into this place knowing that a man that lived there before us just a few months prior had tried to kill himself 
and was found hanging in the doorway of the basement bedroom. He was sent to the hospital and revived, but then later killed himself at his mother's residence. The owner of the duplex, who lived in the other half beside us, would keep telling me that the place was haunted, and she would see people in her house and hear people walking down their hall at night. I kind of laughed it off, but then some strange... This started to happen to us as well. One night, while we had friends over and we were playing a game of Risk, we all jumped to the sound of a loud bang that actually shook the whole house. The guys all jumped up and started checking the inside and outside of the house to see where it came from. No one found anything. We were all confused, but we started to play again, and ten minutes later, the same thing happened. Even the walls and dishes rattled from the loud, unexplained bang. In another occasion, me and my husband's nephew were doing dishes when a bright blue light traveled through the kitchen, and many times at, at night, when we were downstairs watching TV, we would hear a sound that sounded like a dog running around upstairs and in his nails tapping the floor as he ran. You would also hear things rolling across the floor upstairs. Kind of sounded like a pencil rolling across the floor. It was weird because if we would go upstairs, there would be nothing there. Then. I was home alone with my son, who was now about eight months old. The guys were working midnight shift, and I had put my son to bed. I went downstairs to watch TV. My boy had a Fisher-Price train that had a one-button push remote. Push once, and the train went forward. Push again, and it went backwards. All of a sudden, the train started going across the hardwood floor, all by itself. I was the only person there. I thought maybe the remote was in the toy box hitting something, so I went and searched for it and couldn't find it. When I turned around, I noticed the remote was on the coffee table. Nothing was near it. Again, the train started moving on its own. I was freaking out. By the final straw, one night, we were all sitting in the basement watching TV. All of a sudden, the lights all turned off, and the TV went all fuzzy. My first reaction was the power went out, but then quickly realized the TV power was still on, but just every channel was fuzzy. The light switch for the basement was at the top of the stairs. I went up and turned it back on because somehow it was in the off position. Then our nephew asked, well, how did the side of the lamp turn off? Let me repeat that. Well, how did the side lamp turn off? I said I didn't think it was on, but he was convinced that it was. That it was. So. I went to touch the bulb to see if it was hot, and sure enough, it was. That's when I looked down and noticed that it had been unplugged from the wall. How does a light switch upstairs turn off and at the exact same time a lamp get unplugged and your TV lose all reception? All at the exact same time. This was enough for me. It wasn't too long after that I had moved out. If you enjoyed this and would like to hear more stories like these, please go to www.youtube.com slash the voice of nightmares. Don't forget to give my video a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content. Also, you can follow me now on social media sites such as Twitter, Mr. Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Wiki and Instagram. Last but not least, all stories, art and music are owned by their respective authors. 
Links are available in the description below.